Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we did levels 4, 5, and 6 here of Daytime uh, Dark Ages Part 2. And this time we're just going to do levels 7 and 8, saving 9 and 10 for next time. Now guys, before we begin, just a quick update. I am like working really hard and trying to get the, the tier list out for all plants, you know, in Eclipse. The problem is that it just takes like an, an, like an extremely long amount of time just to like sit down and record. I haven't done it yet, yet, but I imagine it's going to be like anywhere from like one to possibly even like three hours. So it's quite a big project. Um, but I am trying to find the time to sit down and record it. Just know that I am... Just, I just want you guys to know that I am trying to get it out in a reasonable amount of time. But yeah, anyway, enough about that. Let's hop on in to level seven. Now guys, just also just a bit of warning is that I did try this level several times already. And I failed because... This level is a bit tricky, to say the least. Never have more than 17 plants, and we also have these graves that are constantly just always there. Uh, my biggest problem is with the torch zombies. I don't know an effective way of dealing with them. We also have the shadow zombies, so we have a bunch of quick zombies, to say the least. Uh, makes the whole thing quite difficult to deal with. Um, one thing I did realize, though, is that choppers are like so good at getting rid of the sheep graves because yeah they just have such an extremely high dps i almost want to just get really powerful plants uh in those rows anyway like go all out with like pea pods and also i think burp blurple bloom now that i have uh, burple bloom i haven't used it yet but i imagine it actually would be maybe kind of helpful on this level also, I chose, I don't know if you guys saw there, but I chose twin sunflowers over the regular sunflower because, yeah, with the limited amount of space, I think this will come in handy. I also think we need tile turnip and also gold leaf because they save you a lot of space in the long run. Oh, yeah, and I did say I was going to bring Chomper, too. Chomper is also really good for the early game. Where is Chomper? I lose all my plants all the time. You would think I would memorize the order of the stuff, but I haven't. There it is. Yeah, all the melee plants are together. Hmm. What else? What? What else do I want to do? I think I would also prefer a slowdown plant, but I don't know what would be best in this scenario. I think I, I think the daisy chain is the best option here because it only takes up one of my seed or like my plant slots. The amount of plants that I'm like limited to having. Where is it? Oh my gosh, daisy. Oh sorry, daisy chain. Yeah, daisy chain. That's this is the one I want. Let's also not do tier three. That is too expensive for when it. Oh wait. Uh, I also just realized I really need gray buster for this. Gray buster is like pretty essential. I'm gonna try this out. I don't have any slowdown, so I might be screwed, but we will try it. We'll see where this gets us. Yeah, the goal is to get Chompers out ASAP, because they get rid of these things really quickly. Uh, let's, let's put our thing in there. Hey, look at that, it's demolishing that sheep grave. And there's my twin sunflower looking lovely. I haven't used twin sunflower in like forever. I see the shadow zombie approaching down below. I'm gonna get rid of him. Let's put this on top of the sunflowers. Now I need another chomper real quick. Come on, someone give me the sun for that chomper. Thank you. Kind of trying to get the twin sunflower going. There we go. 
Uh, I might put out more sunflowers in front for the time being. Really need to get this out too. This guy, I don't. Actually, actually, that probably was a waste. Yeah, that was definitely a waste there. And yeah, I don't want to put anything in the back because I know that, um. Oh, shoot. I know these graves get replaced. Come on, I need this guy to die. I don't want to have to put a chopper behind there. But I'm going to have to if I want to save that mower. I don't know why I dug up that chopper. That was kind of pointless. I really need to try and get peapods. Oh, what? Excuse me, dude. How did that guy get manage to get through? This is a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, the top row is basically gone. Nothing I can really do about that. This row I can definitely save though. I'm just gonna put a sunflower there for right now. I need the extra sun. What the heck? How does that guy not die? I'm so I'm so conf confuzzled right now. The chopper should be eating that guy, but apparently he just managed to get through every single time. I'm gonna have to do this for this row. so screwed. It seems like the blur- I really need to get- try and get more blurple blooms out and also fight back these graves. I need to plant through this row if I want to save it. This seems, yeah, it seems like these are just so amazing at dealing with the shadow zombies. Or the torturers, I should say. Oh, I didn't even see that guy down below. Ugh. Okay, yeah, the problem... Yeah, I really don't want to get rid of the chompers. They seem so amazingly good. I, my problem is I'm just not generating as much sun as I would hope for. Uh, you know what I might do is rather than the pea pods, I think doing really strong kernel pults would actually be really helpful here. Where, where is my kernel pults at? Because yeah, we need we just need to delay. Actually, I don't even know if like choppers would be good anymore because uh, I was using choppers to get rid of the graves, but if I'm not using them like that, I think they wouldn't actually be that good. Let's get kernel pulse out. Where are my kernel parts at? Let's switch the tier. This decreases their shot cooldown tremendously. My plan is to get really strong versions of all these and then we'll put try and put a daisy chain somewhere out in front. I also think I'm gonna pull back on the twin sunflower. I think 
it'd probably be best just to use the primal sunflower to get a good start. I should put the primal out first. There we go. And we definitely we'll definitely try and get the blurple blooms out. Uh, in front, I, I think those definitely helped a lot. Yeah, let's put one out. I was gonna say right there, but here it's fine. Oh, what? The graves blocking that? Excuse me. Okay, this we might have a problem here. So I thought getting rid of that would um. Sorry, I thought the the kernel pull. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need I need to revise here. Okay, so chopper might still be necessary to just keep these things down. I don't know, for some reason I'm stuck on Chomper. I don't think Chomper is necessarily that good in this case here. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I, don't know, I, can't, I really like the setup, but there, I'm going to get rid of you in favor of the Chomper. Chompa, Chompa, where is the Chomper? I've lost Chompa again. Uh, yeah. I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna put a chopper in the back row, right? It's gonna get rid of those graves. It's gonna keep them down. Oh. And then hopefully we can put Colonel Pulse in the back after this. start putting the blurple blue actually let's get the kernel pulse out I feel like those would be more handy yeah I really should get the gold leaf out too gold leaf is pretty essential to this whole setup Say so far so good. Okay, now we're work. We have a chomper on every row now. I really need a kernel pull on the, the third row now. I need. I need to keep these down. Uh. Okay, just deal with the bucket head for right now. It's See, this is a problem. I'm not ready for this torture. I really, I just need to get my money together. Yeah, I'm gonna put a sunflower actually on that tile. Let's do this. I need the sun. And I need to deal with this guy in the back. Uh, let's not dig that chomper up just yet. I might still want him. Yeah, let's just do this again. 
There's uh, some powerful butter. I almost need, I might, need, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing something so horribly wrong here. What is it, the plant food effect of the purple bloom, I wonder? I don't know if I've even seen it. Okay, well I definitely need to get this chomper. He's not doing anything at the time being. I might put one out here just to see what it does. I feel like I have seen it, but I've forgotten what it was. I like all these little poison bubbles I'm getting. Very nice. Oh, I need to start working on these graves. Yeah, we can't have these up because otherwise they'll spawn more zombies during a necromancy. I completely forgot about getting rid of these. I might have to like assassinate some wizards with chompers to keep my forces alive. Okay, this row is kind of screwed it looks like, so let's just get rid of them now. need to keep working on the graves too, that's the problem. I really like the Blurple Bloom and how it works in this, uh, this situation. It basically prevents anyone that's too fast from getting through. I need to dig a plant now. More stuff. Well, I don't need a sunflower anymore. I don't know why I still have that out. I have plenty of gold tiles to get me through everything. Yeah, I'm gonna need to like assassinate some wizards with Chomper. Oh, that's not good. He got the wrong guy. Well, now I can't dig that up. Okay, top row might be in trouble. I need to dig up this chomper just to help out. What did you even dig up or eat, my dude? Okay, all that's dug back up. I wouldn't mind getting more uh, plant food right about now. I dug up that chomper too soon. Okay, yeah, I'm really struggling to keep it together with the wizards here. this situation is where it where it's gotten me where's the plant food at I need the plant food well I guess now I just need to watch the top row only that's what really matters I was trying to get the wizard there but the wrong these keep things keep getting hit Oh, this is such a mess. 
Man, they really just stopped giving me plant food, didn't they? Because I got so much in the beginning and then, like, none at all later on. Yeah, this is definitely, like, definitely not the best setup for this level. To be fair, I don't know what would have been. I think maybe some actual, like, piercing plant. Like, maybe even fume shroom. I don't know. I feel, I've had such difficulty getting fume shroom to work, though. And th there were so many, like, fast guys. I was worried it wasn't going to be enough damage. Alright, protect the endangered plants. Well, it's kind of nice of giving me citron. Oh my gosh! No! I was going to say this is going to be easy, but then they threw jesters at me. That's the whole... That's the whole thing, ain't it? Oh, I hate this. I hate this already. Alright, so what we need to do is stop gestures from throwing back the citrons. I think maybe we just get some tall nuts to make sure that even if we do deflect a, a, like a citron blast back at us, we are safe. Then what do we do from there? It's not only that, but we have Gargantuar too. I don't even know how strong these Citrons are. They could be very powerful. He also has wizards too, which I really hate. Maybe this is a blueberry level. I'm opt I'm opted to say or tempted to say that this is definitely just gonna be a blueberry level. Because at least that way we can get rid of wizards. Uh we can also uh get rid of the gestures when the blueberries target them. And now we need something to deal with gargantuars. Because this is definitely not gonna be enough. Actually, maybe, maybe this will be enough. I'm gonna try this out for size. I don't think it's gonna work very well. Because I don't know how soon the, the gestures are gonna show up. That's the thing. Also, uh, I'll start putting sunflowers in the back for right now. Or maybe even like regular sunflowers in front of the citrons just in case. So I don't know, if a jester shows up right away, I'm like totally screwed. Okay, luckily no jesters right away. Actually, I will they hear, hear speak of the devil. Need to put that out in front. Start the blueberry. Go blueberries. Get that guy. Again, the sunflowers are just temporary. Okay, well the Gargantuar is the only thing on screen right now. Hopefully the blueberries target him. They did, they did nice. Oh shoot, block that. Uh, where's my mouse? I'm gonna need to throw another sunflower right in front of that guy. Oh, you know what I forgot? The imps are gonna be thrown to this third column here. That might be a problem. Oh, I saw that guy and I didn't block it in time. I saw it. Okay. Oh, actually, maybe this is the time to bring out the carrot. Or, hmm. I don't know if that was a good plan or not. I feel like that was just a user error moment.
I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk that up to a user error moment. I think this is this was a good plan. I just need to adjust. I'm also gonna put sunflowers here in the third column now. Or sorry, the primal sunflowers. I made that mistake. Uh, basically, uh, basically, I don't want the imps that get thrown by the gargantuars to land and eat anything important. These back two columns though, are being reserved for blueberries. And I'm also going to try and put more regular sunflowers out in front like this. If I had another plant, I would probably try and squeeze in the um, intensive carrot. Because that would block a lot of hits for the from the gestures. Okay, at least we have something out in front of every row. Oh, it is now that the light lightning reeds aren't doing anything. I might actually want to just put one up close on the citron. Oh shoot, here they all come. I wish I could play in like super slow mo. Oh shoot, I didn't even see that imp. Hopefully the lightning reads can take care of that. I don't have something in front of the top row. Okay, we're fine. Do a little plant food. Might want to just throw more regular sunflowers out in front, just in case. We're gonna stick this up. Yeah, I really should put the lighting reeds further up. Stop this guy, please. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, I am so tense right now. Yeah, I definitely just should have put the lightning reads further up from the start. At least that way they could be used to thin out any zombies. Oh shoot. Okay, you, got, you Okay, so I put an electric blueberry down there because I noticed I my, both my sunflowers are off, off cooldown. Um. And that was like the only plan I had available to stop that guy. Oh my gosh. This is a nightmare. Actually, you could put... Oh, I just realized you could put... um, You could put tile turnips underneath citrons, right? Or, sorry, the endangered plants, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that. And then we'll see.
Let's put one underneath. Oh, I can. I, I, I definitely can. Okay, this is going pretty well, I would say. Just need to start throwing more stuff out in front of the, uh... The tallness to keep him safe. Let's dig up this guy for another blueberry. And this one, too. Yeah, let's do one of these now, actually. So many lightning clouds to do my bidding. Yay! Yeah, I only wish I had more uh, lightning reeds. Or that had like a shorter cooldown. I may as well dig up this Tolna. He's not looking too good. And put more blueberries there. I swear, the whole like nothing but blueberry strategy is, is such a dumb strategy. I can't believe it works. Final wave, let's do this. Very nice. Oh, never mind, this guy's still alive. Taste the power like five lightning clouds at once, Mr. Wizard. Oh my gosh. And those levels were a bit tricky, if I do say so myself. But I kind of like them. Oh, we get... <laughs> conveniently, we get lighting rates tearing from that. Yeah, how convenient. That, that, that can't be... Sh surely that was the intentional way of doing that level, then, in that case. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed these, uh, that, uh, that episode right there. Next time, we'll be doing levels 9 and 10, finishing off the daytime Dark Ages. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!